What's up guys, I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media back with another Dokkan Battle video and today we're doing something that a lot of you have been asking for for a very long time and since there's nothing really going on in the game right now and my global account just turned 2 years old, I thought now's as good of a time as any to do a box showcase for you guys. Now before we get started, I want to make it clear that I've never done one of these before, I've never watched anybody else do their own box showcases and I really have no idea how these work so... I guess I'm just gonna wing it. Hope you guys are okay with that. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys do end up liking it, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you like what you see, then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button. Join the Tiger Squad now. And that's all I gotta say with that out of the way. Let's jump into it, guys. We're gonna go over to team and character list. And the way I have this sorted is by LRs, but also by attack. So basically rarity first and then from there it's all about how much attack each character has so I guess that's how we'll go through the list so starting with the LRs as you can see your boy has 25 total LRs on this account including both free to play and summonable and uh, starting from the top here LR Broly was my first ever LR pull on this account and this was way before I started doing YouTube so nobody ever got to see this on camera but I still got mad love for this unit guys I mean he's just so freaking useful seriously I mean if it wasn't for him I wouldn't nearly be as dedicated to grinding world tournament if at all man I might not even like have done world tournament for the last couple of tournaments if it wasn't for this guy and uh, even though he's super old he still got a special place in my heart because after all he was the first LR I ever pulled. And I believe now I have two dupes in him so he has 20 crit here so he gets crits all the time. And of course that level 3 dodge, I mean as hard as this guy hits, as much damage as he does, he tanks like a wet blanket so that 3 dodge can be quite clutch in some situations so there's LR Broly for you. As you can see the only rainbow LR your boy has is the LR Gogeta. And honestly, I didn't even intentionally, well, I did intentionally go for the rainbow, but it wasn't my intention from the beginning because this guy just actually really blessed me with his banner. The first time, the first video I did, summoning for him, pulled my first copy, and that was a good sign. I was like, you know what, that never happens to me, so that's awesome. And then a couple days later, I did a collab with, no, it was either the collab with my boy Scott or with my girlfriend. I forgot which one it was, but let's say the one with my girlfriend. We got really lucky in that one too. Both of us pulled the LR Gogeta. So at that point, I believe I had one dupe in my Gogeta. And I was like, yo, this is looking good, man. Like, it's not even, it's not even like I got the LR Gogeta and I got like something else nice to like, like, like with it. Literally got the LR Gogeta. Oh, shit. Hey. <laughs> yo, hey. I was just saying, I was just saying. I was like, yo, oh, okay. But I, I still don't really have like any inklings of a rainbow yet because I'm like, yo, I got one dupe. It's not that much. But then I did the three-way collab with Scott and Joe. And man, that collab is still by far the luckiest I've been in summons. Probably to date, man, because we did one multi each in that video. And I pulled two back-to-back -back LR Gogetas in one multi. It was like the 8th and ninth spot or ninth and 10th spot. I don't remember. But I got the one Gogeta, I was already freaking out over that because both of them got shafted and I was super happy about it. And then I clicked the screen again and I got a second Gogeta right after. I lost my freaking mind, guys. Alright. <laughs> oh man, it. oh that feels awesome. Okay, that's my second dupe of Gogeta. So I got the bottom right, top left open now. Nice. Wow. Yeah, oh shit! Did you just pull another one? Back-to-back back LR Gogeta's, boys! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It was awesome. It was awesome. Uh, probably some of the most fun I've had summoning in this game, and uh, it was just extra special because I got to shove it in my friends' faces. And yeah, that's how we got three dupes. And then after that, I was like, you know what? We're going in. We're going in. There's no way I'm not going to rainbow this Gogeta because I didn't have a rainbow LR at that point. I was like... I only need one more dupe. This is my chance to have a rainbow LR on my account and say that I am part of that club now. So I got a thousand stones and it wasn't even about the content to be honest. It was just about me personally having a mission for myself. So a thousand stones did a whole video. It was like an hour long video. First time. I think that's probably my biggest summoning videos up to date still on my global main. 
And uh, I believe it took about 800 stones to pull that final dupe for the Gogeta, but we got it done and it was totally worth it. So this guy's definitely my pride and joy on this account. And my LR Vegito is doing okay too. He's got a dupe, which I actually pulled by accident because during that 1000 stone video, I actually at one point accidentally went over to the Vegito banner when I was trying to rainbow the Gogeta and I did one multi and I was like, oh crap, wait, I pulled a... AGL Vegito, that doesn't make sense because <laughs> he's not on the Gogeta banner, right? So stop it, just like stop summoning. But we are not gonna stop summoning until we get the guy. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, okay, hold on. That Vegito is not on the Gogeta banner. We are summoning on the Gogeta banner. We are summoning on the Vegito banner right now. Oh, from there I was like, well, might as well finish the round because I already started. Don't want to waste the three plus one or whatever. So did that, pulled a dupe for Vegito. So that's how I have a dupe in him. Not upset about that. It was a happy coincidence, I guess. But we got the Gogeta rainbowed. Uh, aside from that, the LR that probably took me the most stones to pull over the course of like a long period of time was this LR Gohan, man. Because back in the day when he was still fairly new, he was super, super rare, super, super coveted because of how hard he could hit. And originally when he came out on the waifu banner with the LR, not the LR, the uh, regular Super Saiyan 4s, the Super Saiyan 4 Goku and Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta banners, I mean, you got you had to get those tickets for the waifu banner and use those tickets to get like one unit off the waifu banner. One of them was LR Gohan, but most of the time you got like Videl or something. <laughs> and obviously I didn't get the luck to pull him there. And then from there on, they, you know, they released him a couple more times on int type banners. And I tried on those int type banners and with thousands and thousands of stones, guys. Like every time it came back, I spent like a thousand stones trying to pull LR Gohan. Didn't work out and uh, it wasn't until a long time after and many, many stones after I finally got my boy LR Gohan. And by then he was already like, you know, not super hype because a lot of people already had him. There were already a lot of other LRs that were released after that were even better. So it wasn't as exciting as it could have been, but still, hey, I'm not upset about it. And I believe he has a dupe as well. Yes, so he has a dupe, which I also pulled in a collab with my boy Scott. So it looks like Scott is pretty lucky for me. Okay, Dude. we got rainbow. Oh, base form rainbow. It's gonna be a screen crack. It's gonna be a screen crack. We already know it's not gonna be a dead multi. Screen crack, we got it's over Frieza. It's over Frieza. Oh! Ah! <laughs> What'd you get? Oh, we got him! We got him! You got oh, our go on! We got our go on! Oh, you're so a juice! Woo! <laughs> oh my god, dude! Speaking of Scott though, okay. This Goku Black. I don't have any dupes in him, but he was actually the first LR I pulled on camera while doing YouTube. So this was probably like, I don't know, three or four months into my YouTube career. And it was around the time when me and Scott first started doing collabs together. And uh, if I, if memory serves me correctly, I'm not 100% sure, but if I'm remembering correctly, this was during that crazy like pepper eating challenge we did with the dual summons, where if one person pulled fire, the other person had to eat fire and like eat these tiny like chili Thai peppers. They were so, freaking spicy guys they're tiny but they're deadly right so for lr pulls the other person had to eat four and this is the video i believe where scott almost died guys because <laughs> i pulled the lr goku black i was freaking out because of course that was my first copy and uh, it was the first time i believe i pulled an lr on camera as a youtuber and this guy ate four peppers all at once i was telling him to space it out he's like nah man i'm eating them all at once he went like you know like just back and forth all four done and this man turned so red I was scared for him, man. I thought he almost died. So, I don't know. Oh, it could, it could be. Whoo! Maybe they get stronger with age. Oh! Oh! Yes! Yes! Oh! Yes! What is going on? Definitely a very memorable LR pull right there. And since then, I haven't pulled a single LR Goku Black, which is actually kind of crazy. But um, I mean, hey, what can you do? <laughs> and at least I have that memory for that one. And the luckiest I've been for pulling a single LR would definitely be this LR cell right here. 
Um, I originally wasn't even going to plan to summon on his banner, his legendary summon like featured banner, but I have a problem, right? I have addiction. So I was like, you know what? I'll do one multi, I'll record it. And I mean, I think it went, I think I got Hercule on Boo, and then I got double screen crack with Oolong, and those panties gave me my LR cell. And man, that was a great moment as well. You guys probably saw the video if you've been watching me for any period of time. Got base form. Okay, it's gonna stay base. It stays base. Okay, so we at least have a screen crack. At least one screen crack. Can we make it a double? Let's make it a double. Come on. Okay, we got it's over Frieza. Yes! Yes! Give me those panties! Give me those panties! That is a guaranteed LR, my friends. What's it gonna be though? What's it gonna be? Yo, I'll take anything at this point. Anything is okay with me. It's been so long since I pulled an LR. I'm not gonna be picky. LR Go Frieza, LR Bojack, LR Cell. Yo, whatever. Just give it to me, man. <laughs> Yo. Yo, I'm guessing it's probably gonna be in the guaranteed spot. That's usually how it goes. Yo, my heart is pounding so fast right now, guys. It's, it, no, it, it's LR Cell. <laughs> it's freaking LR Cell. We got the main featured banner LR, guys. That never happens. And dude, it was it was crazy. I did not expect that to happen, but I'm so glad it did. And this guy is awesome in World Tournament 2. Not as good as LR Broly, honestly, but still really, really good because he does give himself a lot of key. And what else do we have here? Uh, LR Trunks, I feel like it's criminally uh, underrated, and he was a very exciting pull too. I believe I was going for just Kai's, man. It was the physical type banner. I was like, I'll do a couple multis for the Kai's because I would need them to raise supers for a few of my other units. And this man just decided to pop up. That was also extremely, extremely hype. Um, LR Beerus was one of those like random pulls I got. No, it was from the step ups, the New Year step ups. That was such a good banner. Such a good banner. Bring that back, Bandai. I got that from the step ups. And overall, I'd say like I'm not a huge whale, guys. I would consider this myself at most like a dolphin, maybe a mini whale, but I like I like dolphin because it's like a different animal and dolphins are cool. But <laughs> I just consider myself a dolphin when it comes to spending in this game. Back in the past, I used to spend a lot more when it comes to Dokkan, and I really hope my girlfriend or my parents aren't watching this right now, but there were banners where I spent like 500 upwards of like almost a thousand dollars in stones. And uh, it's, I mean, this was back when I was, you know, a lot less experienced with gacha games and would let the addiction take over me a little bit more. Now, you know, I am I can control myself a little bit better and I'm a lot more conservative with my stones. In total, I've still, still spent about like five to six grand on this game. But for now, like I've pretty much limited myself to at most 200 bucks per banner. And if I don't get what I want, I'm gonna call it, which is pretty much, I mean, actually I went a little bit over for the Gogeta and Broly recently, but um, we don't wanna talk about that. It was, <laughs> Still trying to get over that, still trying to get over that shaft, it was really bad. We'll probably talk about it in a bit in the video as well. Oh! Another Paragus. <laughs> another Paragus, another Paragus. Meta dildo. Mm. But those are the LRs, guys. Of course, I also have the free to play ones to all the Prime Battle LRs. The first one was this Tech LR Goku. 777 medals right there. Uh, we have this Frieza as well. Another 777 medals. Actually, I think I did the double grind for this guy. I'm pretty sure I did the double grind where you had to do the 777 medals twice to feed in for the free SA20, so that was extra painful. Um, and then more recently we had the LR Trunks, and just yesterday I finished my LR Vegeta. I use Kai's of course because I'm not about that grind anymore. But you know what, I feel like I'm actually a little bit more proud of these free to play LRs than I am of the summonable ones because anybody can spend stones and summon and pull LRs. I mean. If your luck is a little bit more like me, if it's if you're not so lucky, then maybe it's a little bit harder. But overall, I'm just saying like anybody can spend stones and get lucky. While for these guys, like you actually have to put in the time, the effort, and uh, just do the grind, right? So I feel like as far as being a Dokkan player goes, it's a bigger achievement in my mind to have these prime battle LRs because you actually earned it, you worked for it, right? But hey, there's no hate to people who you know whale a lot too and everything like that. And uh, people can, you know, do whatever they want with their money, whatever they want with their stones. 
Okay, one side note is like, I hate it when I hear people say, oh, this guy is like wasting his money or like is so stupid to be spending that much money on a mobile game. And I just think it's, it's dumb to think that way because at the end of the day, man, people should be able to spend their money however they want. If a mobile game like Dokkan makes them happy, brings them happiness, I don't see anything that's wrong with that. So anybody that judges people for spending money on a mobile game or any other thing that makes them happy, brings them joy, just leave them alone, man. Just let people do their thing and you worry about yourself, right? Anyways, total side note, we're gonna get back to the showcase here. Um, got our free-to-play LRs, pretty much have all of them done, except for LR Hercule here, because he's trash. <laughs> and Piccolo as well, don't have him done. Um, this Gohan is awful too, he's so, so bad. He might be the worst LR overall in this game, so hopefully he gets a like boost or easy A at some point. Now this Goku is actually very good. I'm just missing one dupe. Once I get that for the 20 wins on category SBR, I will be red boiling him for sure. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. As far as the LRs I'm missing on this account, you guys have been watching me for any period of time. You guys already know this, <laughs> but for anybody that doesn't know, for anybody that's new to the channel maybe, I am currently missing LR Super Saiyan 3 Goku, who has eluded me for a very, very long time. And it's not for a lack of trying. That I don't have him. I've summoned on every single tech banner we've gone. I summoned on his own banner, and uh, recently his banner is actually active again. The uh, you know featured banner he's on, I did not summon because I already made a commitment to not summon between now and the four year anniversary. Otherwise, I would have. But I, I just I can't deal with the shaft anymore, guys. I need a break. I need a break from the shaft, so I'm not summoning on this banner. But I've summoned a lot for him. Don't have him. Hopefully, I'll pull him at some point in the future. Just get lucky on like some random banner. I don't really know. LR Goku and Frieza, another big shaft right there. Uh, about a thousand stones on their featured banner during the celebration. No such luck. LR Bardock, I really want. See, I have LR Bardock on JP, but I mean, JP's cool and all, but Global has always been my main, so I would love to have him on my main. And Bardock is pretty much my favorite character in the entire Dragon Ball series, so having him would just be awesome. And his art is dope too. And he is, just like LR Trunks, in my opinion, a very underrated card for how good he is. So yeah, I would love to have LR Bardock. And last but not least, LR Trunks and Mai, who I didn't really go for. Um, when their banner dropped, the double rates banner that JP got for their Christmas, we got it just like randomly. I don't know if it was like for any celebration or anything like that, but I did about 300 stones off camera. Best pull out of those stones was an LR, no, not even LR, uh, Lord Slug. <laughs> it was a Lord Slug, so yeah. Didn't go so well, we don't talk about that. And uh, that's all the summable LRs I think I'm missing on Global. There are two on JP that obviously I don't have because they're not here yet. Uh, the LR uh, GT Trio, the Goku, Pan, and Trunks, and also LR Baby, who I will be summoning for those two because I really want that trio, but um, we'll see how that goes. Maybe on that banner I'll get lucky and pull an LR Super Saiyan 3 or Goku and Frieza. You never know, you never know. But with my luck, probably not. And uh, two free to play units I'm missing are the Thousand Day Spear Bomb Goku. I mean, of course I don't have him because I don't have, I haven't reached a thousand days yet. So when I get there, we're about 200 days off. I'll definitely make sure to get him done, get him rainbowed, and maybe do a showcase for you guys. And uh, also the physical LR Ginyu, who I didn't do mainly because I don't want to spend my Battlefield Jewels for his medals. And I want to get my LR Cooler Army rainbowed first, so I'm saving those gems for his dupes. And uh, once I get that done, I'll have Ginyu as well, so that's not a big deal. But that's all I have to say about the LRs, guys. That is the LR portion of the box right there. Let's move down a little bit. At the very top here, you guys can see we have almost all of the EZA units rainbowed. So we have this STR Gogeta, who I absolutely love. He's such a monster. This Super Saiyan 3 Goku has a story behind him. Uh, basically, <laughs> I had him rainbowed for a long time, and I think he was already rainbowed by the time that his Extreme Z battle, his EZA, came to global. But I could not pull the Int Angel Golden Frieza, man. And you pretty much needed a Resurrected Warriors team to beat level 30. And I just couldn't do it. And I tried to pull, like, I tried to pull that in Golden Frieza really hard, man. I spent, like, a, about 700 to 800 stones on his original banner. SSJ2. Okay, okay, I really hope it's not a dead multi, guys. I, I can't have three to three back to back dead multis. That, that's gonna be soul crushing. Raccoon. SR Vegeta. R Nail. Uh, so many R's. So many R's. Why? Oh my god, another R. 
Are you are you kidding me? <laughs> this is like the biggest shaft multi of all time. Okay, we got an SR Nappa. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven R's in that last last multi. Seven R's and three SR's. And I think Jasper's just about done, and I am just about done with this banner as well. It wasn't even because I wanted that unit, it was because I wanted to awaken my Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And I couldn't pull him, so I had to wait about, I don't know, six months plus until his event came back. And I eventually pulled the Int Angel Golden Frieza too. So uh, I finally got him done. So he does uh, have a special place in my heart for that reason as well. Just because he was so hard to get done, so hard to awaken. And he's, he's a monster, he's a monster, I love him. So great unit there. And uh, obviously Frieza is a monster. This guy is great as well. I feel like he's not as good as the other three we just talked about, but he's still very solid. And that auto super every turn is super clutch. And let's see what else we have here. Uh, Tech Cell, I'm missing two dupes for. He's a very, very good nuker. Extremely good for the punching bag event as well. So if you guys haven't tried using him for punching bag, he can do a lot of damage with the right setup. Uh, okay, yo. Got my Beerus here. He's been done for time, man. Yo, Bandai, whenever you decide to drop that EZA on Global, I'm ready. I'm ready. I can't wait. Also, uh, we have the EZA Kid Boo here as well. So, so awesome, man. Such a good unit. Absolutely in love with this unit. One of my favorites in this game because he's an amazing support, right? He can do like the support side really, really well. Definitely one of the best supports in this game, but at the same time, he also hits extremely hard. For a support unit, he can do 1.5, 2 million damage easily on Resurrected Warriors. But definitely try to run this guy as much as possible. Um, what else? So as far as the 120% leads go, I have all of them. Some of them are rainbowed, some of them are missing a few dupes for. My favorite one by far is this physical Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. He, he just does stupid damage, man. Like on fusions, he hits so damn hard. And of course, the tech one over here, the 70% lead, just got an EZA on JP. And I'm actually glad he doesn't completely replace the physical one. Now, of course, he's very, very good. His Extreme Z Awakening is fantastic. He hits so freaking hard after his EZA. But he's not as good as the physical one on a Fusions team. He's better on a Super Saiyan 3 team. But I don't have in Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, so it's not really a concern for me anyways, but I'm very happy they made this guy's EZA extremely good. And it's also a good precedent for the other 70% leads that are about to get their EZAs too, like Super Vegito, for example, who I'm definitely the most hyped for, as you guys know, but also Buhan, um, the Broly, the physical Broly, the OG one, who is in desperate need, in dire need of an EZA, guys. I don't know what they were thinking when they made that Broly, but... He's just awful. He's just awful. And it makes me cringe when I think about how hard it was for me to get the medals to awaken him. Like, I would use many stones every single round because I just kept dying, like, right? Like, because he had that crazy, crazy damage reduction. And back in the day, I didn't have really the teams to beat him like easily. So I would just use stones to revive. And I spent, I don't even want to think about how many stones to get the 77 medals to awaken him. And it totally was not worth it because he's trash. But you know what? Everybody makes mistakes when they first uh, when they first start, or you know when they're like early in the game. And back then, I didn't really know nearly as much as I do know now. So, yeah, mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Um, aside from that, you know, Super Saiyan 3 Vegeta here has three dupes, so one more to Rainbow, and I can't wait for his easy and global as well. Um, Omega Shenron has a story. But this guy, I feel like, is criminally, criminally underrated as a category lead. A lot of people that pull him are like very upset by it. I'm like, guys, what are you, what are you talking about, man? He's awesome. He hits so damn hard, and especially when he does those triple supers, he can do like six million plus damage. So I don't know why people hate on this guy so much, but I also have an issue with him in that he can't stop popping up for me man every time he's on a banner i keep pulling this guy not this guy rainbowed and enough dupes to rainbow a second copy and then some so i love you omega shenron but just like stop popping up dude so yeah great unit uh pulled him too many times same thing with this guy i have too many dupes but the first time he actually came out i spent about 300 stones and didn't pull a single ssr on his banner this was back in the day when there was no guaranteed ssr right so it was like totally possible to go, you know, hundreds of stones 
without pulling a single SSR, man. You new players don't know how good you have it right now, because right now, at least even if you get shafted, you can still get SSRs on every multi. But for this guy, I spent 300 stones and did not pull a single SSR, so it took me a long time to get him too, and now I have too many copies. I guess it goes to show, actually, that just don't, don't worry about not being able to pull a unit the first time around, because eventually, you're going to be able to pull your first copy, and then sooner or later, you're going to pull so many copies, they're going to be sick of them, which is these guys for me, man. Omega Shenron and Super Saiyan 3 Go Tanks. I have way too many copies. Uh, same thing with this guy too, man. It was hard for me to rainbow him, and now I have too many copies too. But anyways, let's move along. Uh, I have all the 120 leads, like I said, all the 70% uh, leads. Uh, category leads have quite a few as well. You guys can just take a look. I'm not going to go over all of them. Uh, Cooler is probably my favorite 120 extreme lead. I just noticed that actually my two favorites are the super physical lead and the extreme physical lead. It just worked out like that. But this guy is, in my opinion, by far the best extreme 120 lead. He hits super hard and he's also a very good tank for, for his time. He has the potential to super three times with some potential hidden potential investment. So he's just an awesome, awesome unit right there. Um, let's see what else we got to talk about. I'm going to move along, move along. Now, this guy actually blessed me. Like, this was one of the luckiest I've been for a Dokkan Fest exclusive because my Dokkan Fest luck, generally speaking, is very bad. Uh, but I managed to pull this guy first video. It's very exciting. It hasn't happened very often. Hasn't hasn't happened since, I think. But clearly, they didn't do a very good job because my dog won't eat it at all, man. Like, I put it in front of his face and he just looks at it and he will not touch... Oh my god! <sighs> We're done! We out of here! <laughs> we out of here! Uh, yeah, I got this guy. One copy, good enough for me. This guy now, uh, I have one copy of him too, and... I mean, he brings back some bad memories, not for him, to be honest, because I did pull him in my second video, but the transforming Frieza took me... I mean, four or five hundred stones, I didn't even pull him. So, uh, still missing Transforming Freeze at the moment. Hopefully, I'll get him on the four-year banners. Moving along, lots of units, guys. Um, Rose was a hard pull, too, man. I love this guy. He has, he's definitely one of the best TURs in this entire game. And he shafted me for a long time before I got him. This guy, yo. Yo, it's okay. The no story about him is I was planning to go about 100 stones in this banner because like originally I wasn't even going to summon but then I saw his super tax so like he looks pretty dope and I saw some, saw some calculations and I was like yo he's actually a really really strong unit especially for a non Dokkan Fest exclusive so I went about a multi or two and I didn't get him I got the Beerus so I'm like you know what we can do a few more and I ended up doing 14 multis 14 multis for this guy before I pulled my first copy and he's still not rainbowed right now. I have the In Beerus rainbowed, who was from the same banner. And it was just very unfortunate, man. Because the Bulma and Vegeta is actually way better than the Int Beerus. But that's how life works. That's how life works. And now we are here at the only new unit that I pulled on the Gogeta blue banner. Yeah, about 1,000 stones. He is the only new unit I pulled. I don't want to sound ungrateful because he's an awesome unit and I love him. I have three copies, though. And I couldn't pull a single copy of Tech God Ku or AGL Gogeta. <sighs> Game, why? Like, just, just why? Just why? <laughs> and now we also have the only new unit I pulled on the Broly banner with a dupe, by the way. But no Broly, no EZA Broly, no physical Broly. But guess what? I did rainbow my STR Broly, so I guess I should be happy about that. But I'm not. I'm not, guys. It was a bad, it was a bad shaft. It was one of the worst shafts I ever experienced. Not for the number of stones, but just for how many stones I went without pulling either one of the units that I wanted. Oh, okay, you know what? We're, gonna, we're not gonna talk about that anymore. We're just gonna move on. We're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. So, these are the units, guys. This is the box showcase. And we have a lot of free-to-play units here too. I try to basically rainbow every single free-to-play unit I can, especially the ones that have their own orbs, like this Tech Bulma. Because number one, for collection purposes, but number two, because these cards are actually getting very good. And based on what they did for the Goku Jr. here, I'm, I can only assume that all of these free-to-play cards will eventually get their own Extreme Z Awakening. So either way, I feel like it's worth the grind. Here is that infamous Fizz Broly, man. I, I don't have any dupes in hit them. I thought I had dupes, anyways. 
he sucks. So I'm not that upset about it. Hopefully Bandai will give him a very serviceable, at least make him usable, like a good EZA that can make him usable as opposed to what he is now, which is, in my opinion, not very usable. Not very usable. Anyways, I'm gonna move along more units some world tournament stuff here. I actually grinded pretty hard for this Bojack. Um, yeah, that's the box, guys. I'm not gonna go through every unit because there's just so much to talk about. As far as the Dokkan Fest units, let's go back just a little bit. I am missing quite a few. I think I did math. I was missing. I was missing nine. So the ones we're currently hunting for right now are AGL Gogeta, obviously, Biz Broly. Uh, let me check my list here. I actually made a list on the side just in case I forgot. STR Jiren, who's shafting me very hard, man. That's about 3,000 stones so far over multiple banners without pulling the STR Jiren. Biz 17, who, to be fair, I didn't really go for. Um, Future Gohan, which I didn't go for either. STR Transforming Boo, did about 100 stones, didn't pull anything. Tech Transforming Frieza, who I actually tried to pull, didn't get. And Int Super Saiyan 3 Bardock, who is probably my most wanted Dokkan Fest right now because I want to run that Super Saiyan 3 team, but I mean, there's not much I can do. What can you do? So hopefully we can all pull these Dokkan Fest exclusives at some point down the line. Maybe the luck will change. Maybe after this video, Bandai, someone with Bandai will see this and be like, hey, maybe it's time to turn Tiger's rates up just a little bit so that I can stop getting shafted. But I doubt it's going to happen, so uh, yeah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, we're going to go down the list and you guys can see the rest of the box. There's not much else to see. They're very, I mean, not exciting units. These guys are pretty much the units that I don't run at all. Oh, there is my pride and joy here as well, this Android 18, Kimono 18. If you guys didn't know, Android 18 has been and always will be my Dragon Ball Bay, And a lot of people are like, yo, did you choose your girlfriend based on how much she looked like Android 18? Because a lot of people do say she does look very much like 18. But uh, no, I didn't. Not consciously, at least. I didn't go around looking for a girl that looked like 18. It just kind of worked out that way. But this is by far my favorite version of Android 18 because she's so like unique and just looks awesome and look at that background man she actually doesn't have a diamond which well, it does a little bit but the actual background is in front of it so that makes the card just extra awesome i guess so eventually i will rainbow her and probably do a showcase as well for you guys so stay tuned for that and if we move along there's not much else to see i have this guy duped out as well but i haven't really made the commitment to get him to sa10 and uh rainbowed yet so possible showcase at some point they really got to make that world tournament team better for me to want to but uh that's a potential for the future obviously our lord Shukesh is all done mm, what else yeah that's that's pretty much it guys the rest of it is just like random dupes and stuff like that uh as you can see five dupes for the omega shenron four extra dupes for the super saiyan 3 go tanks uh yeah some dupes for buhan some extra dupes for super saiyan 3 vegeta and that's pretty much it. Oh, a lot. A lot of this Sin Shenron too. I hate that guy. I hate that guy. And I don't think these are extra dupes. I just didn't spend the time to put him into the original. But I mean, like, why would I then? <laughs> it's not it's not worth it. And yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Hope you enjoyed the box showcase. Um, I am still missing a few non Dokkan Fest exclusive units. And the ones that I want the most, I would say, are the AGL Broly, the EZA Broly, um, Tech Godku, and probably Weirus. Because Weirus, I think, would just be really cool to have because he's a very cool looking unit. But also, he would probably help me a lot with the um, Punching Bag event to run him with some nukers and get some higher numbers maybe. So far, I've gone... 40 million, but I'm still pretty far from that 77 million. I feel like Weirus could make that difference. So that's pretty much it for the showcase, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, let me know what you guys think about the box. Like I said, your boy is not a huge whale. I try to be a little bit more conservative with my stones these days, and I have made a commitment to not summon until the four year anniversary. We'll see how that goes, because we did get news about that transforming Vegeta for Saiyan Day, and I haven't seen anything about him yet. Now, if he ends up being really cool, if he ends up being really OP, then I might have to break that promise. For the time being, though, we're not summoning because Gogeta and Broly, Frieda does very bad, and also tech hit. And basically, it's been like 3,000 stones, 3,000 stones since I pulled a new Dokkan Fest unit, and I'm just over it, guys. But that is it for the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, 
you guys like the video, then make sure to like the damn video. And also, if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, you'll like what you see. Then make sure to hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And let me know in the comments down below what your personal favorite unit is, or what was the biggest shaft you got, or anything else you want to talk about. Let me know in the comments down below. But that's it for me, guys. That's all I got to say. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out. Yeah. <laughs>